He was England's last king to die in battle. Today, carried in a ceremonial procession to his final resting place. We pay our respects to a king of England. It's the end of a, a, what's felt like at times quite a long journey, albeit a very exciting journey. Britain's King Richard III has often been portrayed as a villain. The man who put his nephews, the heirs to the throne, in the Tower of London and proclaimed himself king. Though there is no definitive evidence that Richard killed the boys, the princes disappeared. Richard's own end was brutal. The 32-year-old died just two years into his reign at the Battle of Bosworth, falling to Henry Tudor, father of Henry VIII. Richard's body was crammed into a too small plot in the Grey Friars Church in what is today a parking lot. The last time he left that battlefield, he left it naked, slung over a horse. So to take him back there and to honour him now as a king, um, I think that, again, it's making peace with the past. I really like learning about something I don't, I've never really knew about before. Richard's remains were uncovered in 2012, and with the discovery, much about the king was also revealed. The most famous portraits of Richard show him as dark-haired with steely eyes, painted decades after he died. But this is what scientists believe Richard actually looked like, his face reconstructed from the skeletal remains. DNA tests show a high probability he had blue eyes and blonde hair that likely darkened with age. Shakespeare's play paints Richard as a hunchback king with a shriveled arm, but his bones only showed scoliosis, which may have meant that Richard's right shoulder was noticeably higher than his left. The remains also showed he suffered 11 wounds in battle, the injuries suggesting Richard had lost his horse and helmet when he was attacked. We need to get a sample of your DNA. The proof the bones were Richard's came from a Canadian. Scientists used DNA from Michael Isbitt, the 17th great-grandnephew of Richard's older sister, Anne of York. To pay tribute to his ancestor, Ibsen built the coffin used today. The idea that you're related to a royal is something that takes a bit of getting used to. Richard III will lie in state at Leicester Cathedral until Thursday's reinterment ceremony. Natalie Collada, CBC News, Toronto.